Before I start this video, I just want to say I don't think the Kardashians are going anywhere anytime soon. Unfortunately. However, I do believe that their image and their reputation are going down the drain. Now, I understand that this family has had their fair share of hate in the past, but what almost always happens is they'll get into some drama for like a week and everyone will hate them. But then another celebrity will get into some drama and everyone will move on and forget the Kardashians ever did anything. And what do you know? They're loved again. Like nothing ever happened. But I don't think that's what's happening this time. I think people are genuinely fed up with this family more than they ever have been. And this time it'll stick. So I'll be splitting this entire video into three different sections. First, I want to discuss how times have changed, but the Kardashians haven't and they're slowly losing their relevancy. We can keep up with the Kardashians, but they can't keep up with us. <laughs> Get it? Cause oh, bro. they have a show. Oh, this guy stinks. Keeping up with the Kardashians. No. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, I'll be talking about how privileged and tone deaf this entire family can be, and how people are just genuinely sick of their ignorance. And lastly, I'm going to discuss how they're potentially going broke. <laughs> What? <laughs> so, in the past couple of years, influencer culture has completely taken over the entertainment industry entirely, which has completely changed what people want out of celebrities. Not even 10 years ago, people absolutely love celebrities showing off their riches. But now, especially in the post-COVID world, People see through those lies. And that sort of lavish display of living doesn't interest people in the slightest anymore. But the Kardashians haven't moved on from this era, which not only angers people, but it bores people. And this TikTok user who goes by the name The Sensible Snowflake said it best, honestly. I was thinking yesterday about the potential downfall of the Kardashians and not just because of the Balenciaga scandal, but I think about Kylie Jenner who posted her big extravagant Christmas tree on TikTok and she had to take it down because she got so many hate comments and I feel like as a society overall we are slowly becoming done with this overt materialism and uh, just this ostentatious behavior of displaying your wealth and maybe five years ago, ten years ago we loved it but not now. I remember, y'all remember the Kylie Jenner show? She said, you know, I post my cars and my things because I know that's what people want to see, but it's not the real me. But it just gets a bit eye rolly. Like, I'm not interested in your crocodile rainbow colored Birkin that you got for 200k. Like, I'm just not. And I think a lot of people are not anymore either. So, yeah. Now, another user who goes by Millennial Wealth Woman pointed out another reason why the Kardashians are falling off their pedestal is because they have a total lack of relatability. And rather than embracing their so-called flaws and insecurities, they prefer to drop hundreds of thousands of dollars to completely transform the way they look. Reasons why the Kardashians and Jenners no longer have any influence. It's an end of an era. The first one, they are no longer relatable. There is nothing relatable about Kylie Jenner posting her $30 million wardrobe, closet, whatever you want to call it, with all these Hermes bags. For the longest time, a lot of people were obsessed with Kylie when she came out with her lip kits because she talked about how her lips were so small and this was the solution to getting bigger lips. Only for the whole world to find out that she actually had lip fillers and basically she scammed everyone into buying millions of her lip kits, which almost made her a billionaire. Last but not least, they are promoting unattainable beauty standards. Most people will look at Kylie and think, oh my God, she has two kids and looks like that. Understand she has money and a plastic surgeon. Kim and Chloe talk all the time about how they work out so extensively and that's why they look like that. But Kim, we all know you got stuff done to your body. Chloe, we all know you did stuff. They're trying to tell us that we can all look like that, but we can't unless we have the same amount of money that they have and a good plastic surgeon. In one of the most recent Dumois podcast episodes, a caller asks if they can talk about the fact that the Kardashians are losing their clout. 
In this clip, they talk about how the Kardashians losing their influence is their biggest source of ambition and anxiety, which is why they release so many product lines. It is hands down their absolute biggest source of anxiety and ambition. It's why they branched out into bona fide product lines. I mean, we all knew they had a couple, okay? But I don't think any of us truly knew how many companies this family actually has. Because just look at Kris Jenner's bio. I'm going to try and read this all in one breath, all right? <sighs> Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Skin, Kylie Baby Skin, Skims, Drink 818, Poosh, Arthur George 87, Good American, Get Safely, Kardashians, Hulu, Sky Partners. <gasps> Oh my god. And when this little snippet was uploaded to TikTok, people had this to say. I think we are entering a new era of neutrality, authenticity, and being real and pure. They can't compete with that at all. They are going to lose cloud 100%. And then another person brought up a very interesting point. This is why they signed Scott back to the show. Because a lot of people, including myself, would agree that the show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, was only good because Scott was there. As soon as he wasn't, a lot of people just dropped it. They stopped watching. And I think they know that, which is why they bought him back. Another user comments, we're over them. They just aren't relatable anymore. Honestly, they overstayed their welcome. If they do have a comeback, it's not going to be at the level as Paris Hilton. And if you think their line of products just stops here, you'd be wrong because now Northwest is set to launch her own skincare line and her own toy line. Listen, the toys, okay, makes sense. Skincare? Yeah, she's nine! Can't even let the kid hit double digits first before she's a prophet. God damn! And the response to this news has just been the clearest display of Kardashian fatigue. <sighs> Great. We'll never get a rest from this family. Ever. Absolutely not. The Kardashians are becoming Kellogg's at this point. Kim's status is fading, so she's got to market them commodities while she still can. Never bought anything from them and never will. Speaking of Northwest, people believe that Kim hired iSpice to make TikToks with North as a means to stay relevant. Now, people are making their little jokes about it, okay? Haha, <laughs> it's funny. However... I believe there's some truth to those comments. I believe that's actually what's happening here. Because how can you explain the fact that Kim literally posted pictures with iSpice to her Instagram and let her daughter, who really loves iSpice, clearly because she cosplayed iSpice in a TikTok, not even follow her back on Instagram? She was paid to do this. I don't care. I don't care. It's a conspiracy theory, but I believe it fully. And this belief was shared on Reddit. The Kardashians paying celebrities to show up and entertain their children like party clowns is so crazy to me. There are people all over who thinks that she was rented. <laughs> but this wouldn't be the first time that the Kardashians were using other celebrities for their own benefit. In the TMZ articles that report on Kendall being spotted with Bad Bunny, the photos are always credited to something called Backgrid, which is basically paparazzi on call. First thing we see, Backgrid. Backgrid. So I had to do my little digging on what Backgrid means. Basically, when a celebrity contacts a paparazzi, they let them know, hey, I'm going to be here. So it's a staged photo. And that's how the paparazzi categorize their staged photos. So if TMZ and the, in the little photo thing and the photo, it has background on it, then that means it was staged. Now, my question is, Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, why? Why do you need the Kardashians? And just like I Spice, Bad Bunny is one of the most popular artists in the world right now with over 60 million monthly listeners on Spotify. So Kendall suddenly being in a romantic relationship with Bad Bunny just as the Mean Girl rumors are starting to spread and she's losing an insane amount of followers on Instagram? Come on. Do I have to say it? But the most interesting case of Kardashian fatigue that I have ever 
I've seen is the comment section on Kylie Jenner's most recent Instagram post where the comments got so bad she had to limit the comments. Oh my god. Sorry, definitely not appealing. Not even art. Girl, bye. What even are these pictures? More butt photos, revolutionary. We don't want to see you anymore. Overboard with the BBL. <laughs> Anything for attention. Boring! Girl, go to bed! <laughs> no one cares anymore! King Kylie era was last decade. You've gone stale. <laughs> Why is it always booty pictures with these girls? So boring! Same old thing every time. Boring! Posts consistently getting worse. People have even started criticizing the trailer for the new season of their new show, The Kardashians. So this gave us a whole lot of nothing. As a massive Kardashians fan from day one, I'm afraid their time has come. They are over. I never watched the Kardashians, but I feel like their reign is over. This show should have ended by now. The Kardashians should not still have a hold on y'all. Plus, this looks boring AF. And this TikToker who made a post about the Kardashians makes a really good point. Nobody in my generation wanted this show. We are over the Kardashians. So I actually used to work for Disney, which owns Hulu. One day my office was sitting around with our VP and it was basically all boomers and me, the 20 year old something entry level nobody. And the show was brought up and my VP was riding so hard for this Kardashian spinoff and all the boomers who've never even seen it were just agreeing with him. And I chimed in and I was like, yeah, I don't know, my generation's kind of over it. And I was just like, yeah, we're just over the Kardashians. No one really wanted this new spinoff or the new seasons. It feels like we're just beating a dead horse. He dismissed me and told me how I was wrong and just kept raving about the show. I'm literally the target audience. How are you going to tell me I'm wrong? There's such a disconnect between what these companies make and what people authentically want to see. Look, I could literally go on and on, but we would be here for literal hours. But I think I've made my point. The Kardashian era is over and nobody cares. In fact, we've all been waiting for this day. Celebrate good time, come on. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> talking about how out of touch and entitled this family is, especially Kendall, because there have been multiple times where she has used the handicap parking despite the fact that she's completely able-bodied. <laughs> and would you believe me if I said that two of these incidents happened in the exact same year? <sighs> The first time was in February of 2022, where she was at a Pilates class and took that space for an hour. She took that from someone who actually needed it, not just for a couple of minutes, a very significant amount of time. And then in November of the same year, she went to another Pilates session and again, illegally took another handicapped parking spot. At this point, she's doing that on purpose. But you wanna guess who was at the scene of the crime with Kendall? That's right, <laughs> Hailey Bieber. Of course she was, of course. Who else would it be? <laughs> and you think those are the only two times it happened? When I said multiple, I meant multiple. Here are two separate incidents where it happened again. That's four times. Further proof of this family's lack of decency, morals, or consideration for anyone but themselves, she's an entitled, arrogant little pig. <sighs> Back in 2020, Kim tweeted out possibly the most horrific Twitter thread of all time when she was facing backlash for hosting a 40th birthday party in the middle of a pandemic. After two weeks of multiple health screens and asking everyone to quarantine, I surprised my closest inner circle with a trip to a private island <laughs> where we could pretend things were normal just for a brief moment of time. Never in my life did I ever think I was gonna see someone put private island and normal in the same sentence. And don't even get me started on when she said this. Before COVID, 
I don't think any of us truly appreciated what a simple luxury it was to be able to travel and be together with family and friends in a safe environment. Any of us? Who's us? Are you kidding me, Kim? Firstly, in what world is traveling a simple luxury? People have to save money for a very long time, sometimes for years, because they need to fund tickets, accommodation, food, activities, transportation, and hey, maybe even a little souvenir, because they deserve that, okay? But not only that, they have to schedule time off of work months in advance, and they're lucky if they can even get that time off. Kim, just because EU didn't appreciate the luxury of being able to travel, doesn't mean the rest of us weren't. Are you kidding? Oh, and let's not forget about that one time where Kim literally ruined a man's life to the point of homelessness when she stole his idea, made millions from it, and left him behind in the dust with absolutely zero credit. Let's not forget when Kylie literally posted clips from Astro World to her story where an ambulance is driving through the crowd because people are losing their lives. And only just a couple months after this incident, Kylie threw Stormy an Astro World themed party despite knowing that just a couple weeks prior, people lost their lives at an Astro World show. She deservedly faced a lot of backlash for this. Isn't this tasteless after the Astro World tragedy where children lost their lives? This makes me cancel level mad. How callous and tone deaf and oblivious can one family be? Jesus. They are mocking the victims at this point. I cannot believe such disdain for human life lost. But you remember when I said Kendall was the most out of touch? Well in 2018, Kendall did an interview with Love Magazine and literally verbatim said this. Since the beginning, we've been super selective about what shows I do. I was never one of those girls who would do like 30 shows a season or whatever the F those girls do. More power to them. And models all around the world took an incredible offense to this. As they should. This makes me so angry. So disrespectful to literally 99% of the people in the industry. Yes, they had to work their way up. Please get in touch with the real world. Maybe those girls need to pay their bills. That's why they are doing 30 shows? No words. Whatever the F those girls do is do their very best to make their way up and to try to make some money so that they can provide for themselves and their families. Oh, and it's 70 shows a season by the way, and we are all effing proud of every single one of the girls that did it. Even Naomi Campbell, one of the most legendary and iconic supermodels of all time, shaded Kendall for saying this. Peter the Meteor wants to know your views on Kendall Jenner being the highest paid model while saying she cherry picks her jobs and could never do 30 shows in a season. Next question. <laughs> now as for the Kardashians potentially going broke, which by the way is just a rumor, nothing has been confirmed, it's been reported that they have borrowed over 132 million dollars in home loans despite the fact that they are literally billionaires. With how famous they are and the amount of companies that they own, why are they taking out loans? Not only do they have all that money and then some to be able to spend, but do they know how easily they could earn that money back? Just give them, I don't know, two weeks? Or maybe they're taking out loans because they're not making as much money as they used to because they're falling out of favor in the public's eye. But if you think that was just a one-time story, again, you'd be wrong. Because only just a couple of days after it was revealed that the family had borrowed over $132 million, Chloe takes out another loan for $7 million. Why on earth? Does this family keep taking out so many damn loans that they don't need? Unless they were going broke. Oh, we're done. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It was an incredibly deep dive. 
You know what? I honestly love doing these deep dives. They're incredibly time consuming, but they are so juicy and I love the juice, babes. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day.